The vast majority of current Elementor users are making use of the Elementor loop either for product listing or post listing. And one thing Elementor haven't really paid much attention to is the styling of the pagination, especially the numbered pagination. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can simply style the number pagination for both product and post loop with some few lines of code. So at the end of this tutorial, we'll go from this default way of uh, pagination, this default number pagination style, uh, to a pagination style that looks somewhat like this. And mind you, this code, this line of code also works for both the post and the post archive widgets, and then the product and the product archive widget. So let's dive in and get started. All right, so on our editing screen, the first thing we're gonna do is let's just add a new a widget. Let's add our loop. Let's add our loop grid. So now we can either choose a template, we can add, like I said, this code, this line of code works for both the post and then the product. So let's just start with the product um, template and then I'm going to choose from an already existing uh, template that I've created. So I'm just going to search for loop. I'm just going to search for loop and then it's going to give me my, uh, my product loop. And then just scroll down here to the pagination and then instead of setting the pagination to none, we're just going to set it to numbers and then scroll down and it's going to appear here you're going to see yeah this is it so now if you should go to the style options you see that the only style options elementor currently gives you is for you to be able to change the typography of the number and then it's for you to be able to change the color that's the default colors of the text and then the space between and then the spacing as well that's just what elementor gives you and then you can change the uh, color for the hover and then color for the active as you can see so now what, what we're going to do now is we're just going to apply some line of codes to to make this look a little bit attractive and then looks more like what we have here as like our already designed loop so to do so we just go to the advanced settings and then we'll scroll down to custom css and then we're just going to add these few lines of of code that is in my uh, code editor i'm making use of the atom code editor so i'm just going to copy this code these lines of code here and then we're just going to paste it right here and then voila you can see so now now that we've done that i'm going to explain some few parts of the code for those that have little no, little knowledge about uh, css so let's just go back to the styling and then let's add some give it um, some spacing yeah okay this this looks better this looks better we can still reduce the space between we can bring it to 10 something like this uh yeah this 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 looks way much better as you can see now let's head back to our custom css let me explain some few lines of code there for you for the benefit of those that have little or no knowledge about css so right as you can see here um you can see this is for the normal state and then this is for the hover and then this is for uh, the css for the active so now when you scroll down you see where it's reading the color this allows you to change the text color now if we should let's say for the normal if we should change let's add something let's change this and then let's make it look like gold color okay as you can see now for the normal state you can see that the color is now gold uh, in nature and then when you come down to the hover state if you should change that to the same uh, let's add another and then when you hover now you see it still maintains the good color the good color the good color and then you can see that the active state has its color way different from what we have from the rest so you can just change the color from here from what we we'll have you just replace this with whatever color you want depending on the design the nature of the design of your loop or the design of your website you can just style this uh, uh css just edit the css to, to suit what you have and then you can also change the border radius for each of them from here you can change the border radius the size of the border radius for both the hover the active and then the normal state as well so that's pretty much it about how you can go about styling your your um, your loop number system making it look way more attractive and, and better to suit your designs so i'm just gonna go back to what we have initially because it looks way more beautiful than this yep this is it all right so mind you this option also works for some of the other types of uh pagination options we have here so when you head back to the pagination right here this option this um, line of css could also give styling to this one and then this one so if you select this one this is what you get this is what you get and then if you go down and select this one number plus the previous and next 
uh, text uh, this is what you get as well so i kind of prefer the numbers option because it, it, it kind of looks way you know more beautiful than than the rest so but it all depends on you and whatever you choose or whatever works for you all right so if you enjoyed this video please remember to hit the like button and if you're new to our channel please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified first one next i upload a new video